Hey YouTube, uh, I've been doing a little bit of research on uh, high dosage vitamin C. You know, here's your standard vitamin C, 500 milligrams. <clears throat> you know, there's some people they recommend to take a lot, like maybe 10,000 milligrams a day. Mainly they recommend to take it in, uh, in powdered form. And what they say is that you take it basically until um, until you, you get diarrhea. And what their theory is is that a normal person can tolerate maybe a thousand milligrams, but actually when you need it more, when you're sick, you need the immune boosting stimulation that the vitamin C can provide. You can, to you can tolerate much more. You know, and then you take like, you take a thousand milligrams, a couple hours later you take another thousand milligrams, a couple hours, you know, you just keep you know, topping it up, topping it up until you feel sick. And then, you know, you continue to take it until you get better. And then you have to uh, slowly wean yourself off of it or else you can get scurvy. Like uh, a rebound scurvy, they call it. So you have to be careful. I wouldn't recommend anybody takes that much of it. But I could see how it could be beneficial to take maybe around... Uh, 2,000 milligrams a day, 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams. And I'm not a doctor. I mean, you have to do your own research, but I'm, I'm trying it out. I have a, a problem with my tendon in my hamstring. I've been uh, fighting with it for a long time, so I want to try that. I'm trying that and uh, collagen to see if it can, you know, help to, uh, to heal it. You know, but they say it can heal a lot of things. It can, uh, it's claimed by some natural health practitioners that it could uh, cure cancer, AIDS. Even I was watching a video of a man in Australia who had swine flu and the doctors uh, gave up on him. They were going to pull the cord on all the machines because he had like pneumonia. Uh, they couldn't even see his lungs. The x-ray was so cl cl uh, clouded they couldn't see his lungs. And his family fought to um, intervene intravenously inject him with vitamin C. And finally the uh, doctors relented and they did it. And Literally the next day, he was breathing again, you know, and it could be a coincidence, I don't know. I mean, you know, you have to, it would require a lot of research to really figure out if it's true or not. All I can say is everybody's body is different, so it's worth trying it without going too crazy, you know. I mean, you have to be careful with the, with the natural cures. I've become a bit suspicious. I've tried a few of them, and, I, you know... You need to be careful. There's like side effects as well. To just because it's a vitamin doesn't mean it's harmless. You know, you try it slowly, little by little, see what effect it has. You know, but obviously its main effect would be that it it boosts your immune system. It's gonna um, produce more white blood cells, and that's gonna help your body to fight off an infection itself. It's kind of like a natural antibiotic. I don't know. What, does anybody know much about it? Does anybody had any any experience with it or researched it at all? Do you think that? Um, ultra high levels of dosages of certain vitamins are, can be beneficial or do you think that it's harmful and you know do you think that the government claims that it's harmful in order to um, be able to sell us their uh, pharmaceutical drugs you know um, it's hard to say these are all like really complicated issues I know I've been researching a little bit about the British Empire and they were they were selling drugs to the Chinese so it's not beyond the government to try to cause harm to people in order to make money. Uh, what do you think?